Hello! Welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual... Oh, actually, Alexis, will you close that door? They mm -hmm. said we could do that. Bag of chips is stunning. Bag of chips is... Bag of chips is class. Bag of chips is stunning. You meant the downstairs. Stunning. Stunning. Hello! Welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion, I'm Auntie Chan. And I am Dixie Lynn Car Salesman. Thank you so much for joining us for yet another week of Drag Race UK. Oh, 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 oh. I cannot take credit for the car salesman. That was somebody in the comments. Ah. I know. It was so smart. Oh, another laugh. week. Yeah, made me laugh. Chan, you were not with us for this I was episode. not. People didn't seem to notice, but. How are you? Are you feeling better? Uh, the baby's out of me, okay, so... Okay, so, and it's, is it with Jesus now? It's with Jesus now. Okay, so that's for the best. Here's the thing, once you start kicking, mm -hmm. I'm like, bullshit. Yeah. You're out you, You're out. You're okay as long as they just relax. Chill out. But the minute you see a foot coming out your belly... Well, that's why I do drugs when I'm pregnant. Mm-hmm. It helps soothe well, the Well, keep some calm. Keep some calm. Yeah. It is now November, so it's obviously, it's Christmas. A time to be thankful. Oh, oh yeah, we have another skip, holiday. Do you skip the day of the pilgrim? What we you, should. Can I tell you? Okay. He stands for pilgrim. That's no, why. I'll tell you. No, we don't. Pilgrims came to the United States that at the time was called land. And they got here <laughs> and they were like, this place looks amazing. And then savages came out of the woods and said, we live here. Right. How dare they? So then the pilgrims coughed on them and said, I don't think so. I'm putting a Starbucks here. <gasps> Everyone died. That's their true story of Thanksgiving. Um, I, I need you to bring that textbook. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Well, it's that the one that we that. learn in Tennessee. Oh, uh, okay. It's mostly pictures uh, with no words, so we have to interpret what the story is. Oh my God. But that sounded right. Who was your textbook provider? Something really white, huh? Yeah. McGraw Hill was ours. McGraw Hill, yes. You, McGraw yes, Hill? Yes, McGraw Hill. You right. have McGraw Hill? Yes, of course. Bitch. Everyone did. Fuck McGraw Hill. Everyone did. Let me tell you something about McGraw Hill. <laughs> tell me. They said Christopher Columbus discovered America. Bitch! That shit was there! We are down to the top five. Yes. We said goodbye to Crystal. Mm hmm. Fuck diamonds. Do Crystal. Light. Crystal light. crystal light! Will you keep it in your purse? Zero calories. You never know. Well, you never, you know, never when know when you're, you're going to get gonna a be of out water. with a bottle of water. <gasps> what a good transition. Then. This was the first episode where we got some drama. Do you want to hold my hand? I don't know. I'm We're getting, getting really you close. Keep doing. Yeah. Well, I like the feeling of these gloves. They feel. Thank uh, you. They're made cheap. of flesh. Oh, I got her. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that hard. Got She's pretty drunk. You'll, we'll hear more wheezing. I love we the wheezing. On. Everyone loves the wheezing. They love the wheezing. Curtis did a wheeze when he filled in did as the he? intern. Yeah. I make him wheeze sometimes. Does he find you funny? <gasps> Does he find me funny? Yeah. No. He's yeah. funny. He is funny. He's, He's like dad humor funny. Yes. Um, so we don't... Don't mash. We're not happy anymore. Because your mom humor funny. We're just not happy anymore. But he's... He has a... Oh my goodness. You can't... You move, can't say. Move on. Davina is upset that she feels like the Vivian wouldn't have picked her first for her team, mm -hmm. which uh, it was a hypothetical question that ended up hurting her feelings. And then it, it went further of like, she's being underestimated and the Vivian doesn't believe in her. <sighs> I think Davina is very um, uh, passionate with her opinions and the Vivian is very chill with her opinions. Where do you think it came from though? Where do you think it came from? Probably in Divi insecurity. Divina. Yeah. It always does come from insecurity, doesn't it? Yeah, like I feel like, it, and I love Davina. I truly love her so much, but it did feel kind of like the Vivian's been dominating this competition. Mm -hmm. She and Baga have kind of been shitty about it. And about, they're wearing like, their badges yeah. at all times. Yeah, and I feel like Davina thought she was going to come in and like slay, and I think the person who is killing it the most, her opinion matters. Mm -hmm. And it's embarrassing to admit that, that she cares that much about her opinion, but she, I think she does. That's what happens. It wasn't a good look on Davina, but it was it was understandable. Mm -hmm. I got it. Rue comes in and is like, hello, 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 or you know, whatever. No, she says, you're right, babes. And they laughed, and we all had to pretend to be another joke. Uh, and then they had the mini challenge, which was BBC, boxers, boxers, briefs, briefs or cock. cock. 
So they bring in all the hot pit crew. Mm -hmm. They were all super hot. Yes. There wasn't a single one, not a single lemon. That you would lemon. say nay to. Ooh. I would say yay to yes. all. Yeah, yay. That tall ginger. Ugh. Dong for days. Dong for days. Dong for days. <laughs> Covered in freckles. So Davina wins. She finds out her big prize is a Skype session with Katya. <laughs> Just got, such a weird nothing. prize. They have no such money. A Bitch, weird I price. would be into that. That's good. But like, I'm like, hi. <laughs> right, like, hi. So what's it? What's Trixie like? <laughs> like what are you, you saying? So then they find out probably the best drag race maxi challenge ever. Mm -hmm. Create and market your own. Bottle of water. water. Wow. When you think about How it, topical. <laughs> Designing a bottle of water. Right. What? What? It was. It was weird. Very. We I already have Dasani. Was we there a statement this. or something like? I don't what know. Were they trying to say? I have no idea. But what would your bottle be? Okay. I've given it some thought. Mm -hmm. I think because it doesn't exist already, I would have spicy water. Water that just has a <laughs> kick. This water is boring. You drink that, you like. Mm. So you want some? So you're hot. It's a hot day, yes. and you're like, God, I just want a cool, refreshing glass of with pepper a kick, water. With a cake, pepper water, or maybe I'm just making hot sauce. Yeah, drink hot sauce. Uh, I do. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, I do. I would do. Um, I would keep it simple. Mine would be called water in a bottle. I would focus on how water is not. Um, it doesn't travel well unless no. it's in a bottle. You're running out of your house. You grab your keys and you grab your wallet. And then you're like, oh shit, I better bring some water to the office. And then you just walk out with water in your hand. <laughs> and then by the time you get to the office, it's all gone. So they're talking about their water bottles, trying to figure out what they're gonna do. Mm -hmm. Of course, Cheryl goes immediately to Essex because that's <laughs> what she says. Every third word is Essex. Yeah. She's not gonna forget where she came from. No, none of us will. The Vivian actually says what we were all thinking. Hey, you do Essex a lot. So then she, said, can you do a Welsh accent? Which, you can do a Welsh accent, right? Do oh, I like this, right? Oh yeah, it's a Welsh, it's a Welsh. Welsh, Welsh. I have no idea I don't know what, what that accent is. I don't know. But anyway, I guess Cheryl <laughs> did a bad one and they all had a good laugh. Um, and then Cheryl cried. And then <laughs> Rue walks around, does her talking. I thought it was really cute when she was talking to Blue and then when she was finished, she was like, all right, good luck. And she walks away and then Blue goes, thank you, have a lovely day. Oh. Isn't that sweet? Like a little baby puppy. I wanna give Blue a little hug. I know. Oh, sweet, sweet little hug. I know. It's a cute little twink. They do find out that the Whoa. judge is gonna be Cheryl. No! Can I have a moment to talk about the Cheryl uh, thing? Yes. Cause you know what happened. I made an offhanded comment yes. during Snatch Game that Cheryl Cole was a reality star. I just meant that I watch X Factor clips on YouTube a lot, mm -hmm. which is how I knew who Cheryl was. Mm -hmm. I've never heard of Girls Aloud. I knew from watching all of that that she was in a girl group that she got into because of a reality show. So all I knew was she was on a reality show, she became a star, and then I see her on other reality shows. So that's why I said I mean, so that. technically she is a reality yeah. star, so you're I mean, not people wrong. call Donald Trump a reality star. He is. Oh, what is he? He's, he's the greatest president sure. any sure. racist could hope for. Sure. I, is she only a reality star? Obviously not. She means the world to y'all. But to us, do you know Girls Aloud? I don't. I don't. I really don't. I, don't. I know Little that's, Mix, that's about it. Yeah, but that's great. I mean, I, I'm sure they're wonderful, and I can't wait to Google search. But Peter, who's a messy queen, by the way, oh, um, he made a comment about that, and then we got into a fun YouTube argument. Yeah, that was it funny. It was fun. It was yes, fun. Because yes. we, I knew he was joking, and so we kind of both went and in. And he roasted the hell out yeah, of Yeah, I like that. I like negative comments that are either so crazy they're funny, or people who are in on the joke. You think you're unstoppable, huh? I am now. Oh. So anyway, Cheryl Cole, the reality star, is going to be. <laughs> <laughs> so funny too. She doesn't go by Cheryl Cole. She goes by Cheryl. Cheryl. I'm on an M, like Adele. In an English accent, it sounds much classier. Cheryl. In an American accent with the hard R, there's something about it. Cheryl. That just, yeah. Please welcome to the stage, Cheryl. Which is it why it sounds you like you're welcoming like a. 
a Karen. Exactly. Please welcome to the stage, Karen. She's beautiful. She's stunning. And I'm sure she's a, an amazing singer and performer. But Cheryl. Maybe that's why well, it I never mean, went well in the English accent States. makes everything sound more like a Dixie Lynn Cartwright. Gonorrhea. My piss be burning me whole. Come. What is it? Come. 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 Then they're uh, getting ready to film their commercials. Or I'm sorry, their adverts. Adverts for the telly. Adverts for the telly. Um, there's more Davina Vivian stuff. Let it go. I mean, let it go. But as far as reality show is concerned, I really keep enjoyed it. it. Keep it. You keep, keep it. it. You keep it. Let it go at night. I don't want you to take that into your dreams because that's that's not good. That's unhealthy. Then they go and film with Graham Norton. Love him. Love him. So funny. I mean, it's as much as we don't know a lot about UK culture. We, do know, we know Graham Norton. We know Graham Norton. We know Graham Norton, and I love watching his talk show. Yeah, I love it. Such a cute old man. He's so so cute, so cute, and so funny. He's a great interviewer mm -hmm. because he just kind of chats like he's having a laugh. Uh huh. Looking for the funny, finding. Look the for funny. the funny, finding the funny. Find the so funny. Like, Look for the funny. You know what James Corden does, where like he's bad. Graham Norton does the opposite, and he's good. You know what? You know what? You can have James Corden back. Give us Graham Norton. Push James Corden into a wood chipper. I'm good. <gasps> I'm good. What y'all mean? <gasps> I thought you were gonna say like push him into a lake or something, but you nope. just went straight to like wood chipper. Start with the legs. Legs so first, so legs he first. feels it all. So he sees it happening. Oh, that is what he deserves. Just, well, no, I was just no, saying, no. I think he, I don't think he's that funny, but he did steal an Emmy from Beyonce. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, maybe um, a wood chipper, but spank him a little bit. Yeah, he's spank him bad. with a wood chipper. <laughs> but they're filming with Graham. They're kind of directing themselves. It's nothing was like insanely hilarious. Blue fucked the bottle. Uh, Cheryl fingered the bottle. Mm -hmm. That was funny when her finger was going. <laughs> she was trying to get the finger in the frame. That was funny because of sex. That, well, that's what sex is. It's doing this. Is it in? Is it in? Is it? <laughs> Do you like a With finger a in your butt? I go. I like the handle to the elbow. Oh yeah, you're selfish. Well, I, I'm into Jim Henson play. I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> I do not like a finger in my butt. I'll tell you why. Because I feel like you're looking for something, and you're not going to find anything good. What you digging around for? Yeah, what are you looking what for? What you lose, your key? You lost your keys in my butt? I told you to get a tile. So not you can a stop finger, putting a finger. But you like a Oh! I like a giant in there, you know, on high holidays. <laughs> I like it when they put the hand in there and then they start signing. I'm like, okay. <laughs> They put him in. <laughs> when they spell it out, oh, it's like Hangman. You ever played Hangman with uh, in a, your butt? A hand in your butt. So category is food, and it's apple. And they kind of like A T P L. Yeah. Oh, apple. So uh, then uh, Davina gets to get her prize, which is right. a Skype call with Katya. <gasps> Ooh. So she's like, "Hey," and Katya's like. Hey! Nope! She presses end call and yeah. then walks around the corner. And then walks around the corner. Oh, we love Katya. Yes, we do. Uh, but she did say something that I thought was really good. She said, this is your one-woman show. Mm -hmm. RuPaul is there to assist you in your show. Yeah. This is your time. It doesn't matter what other people think. What a great way to think about that competition. Yeah. yeah. Because you are, from the moment, like, the workroom, everything is you performing. Thinking of it as, like, I'm the star, these are the other players. Yeah. It's not a good way to live your life, you know. That's well, a, you have to, like, enter in with, like, a winner's attitude, like, oh, I'm going to win this. I th that's why Bob the drag queen is my favorite drag queen because that entire season Bob was like oh, Bob's your away. favorite winner? Bob's my favorite winner, yeah. Who's your favorite winner? Ooh. I mean, I know it's kind of, but All-Stars winner, Alaska. Uh, what about a non-All-Stars season? Ooh, an a ridge. This is weird because I just said Alaska, but Jinx. When Jinx Ooh, won, yeah. like Sharon and Jinx winning, I don't think people really, because now the drag tapestry has changed so much, but those were two huge wins. Right. Jinx was the underdog, and to the end, people were fighting her, and she still won. Yeah. Have you ever seen her perform live? No. Good. Incredible. Not just good. I love Dina Martina. I love Farla Jean. I love Coco Peru. They're amazing live performers. Mm -hmm. 
but they cannot hold a candle to Jinx Monsoon. She's magic on this stage. Okay. That's that's where she belongs. Oh, day. If she's ever anywhere near you, it's not just a drag queen and show. And you know, she's coming to Chicago in December. You have to go. We should go on. We should go. We should go. We have to let's go. Let's go. IMHO goes. Yes! IMHO let's go. goes to I'll Jinx. Get, I, got the, I got the hookup. Who's your favorite first person out? <laughs> Pork chop. Pork chop Parker. Yeah. You're, you're not gonna say soju? <gasps> she put us where we are! We do owe it all to soju. Thank you, soju. That is not a lie. <laughs> we love you, soju. <laughs> you forgot soju went home first, didn't you? Well, because cause in my mind, she's a winner. Soju friend. went on that show as an okay drag queen. She came out of it as a beautiful she's drag stunning. queen. She's stunning. She's stunning. stunning. Yeah. We saw her at DragCon and I was like, oh, you're making your money. Did you see the botched that Porkchop was on? No. You remember Porkchop used to have that bump in her nose? Yeah, she got it out. Yeah, she got that fixed and then she got a flesh eating bacteria. She could have lost her nose. Leon Locken. Leon Locken. What? Yeah, but they had to go back in and do it again. But now she looks great. <sighs> but then we go to the next day, they're getting ready for the runway. Such a producer driven show, obviously. Yes. But I love that Blue Hydrangea was the one that they decided would start the conversation about drugs. And this is how she did it. So guys, I don't, uh, I don't drink. Uh, I've never done drugs. Not into that. Anyone here a drug addict? But it's just like, of course, Blue Hydrangea's the one, like the innocent one. That's right. Like, Do you want to talk about drugs? Sweet little twain. Yeah. Hi. And we had an addiction. Oh, absolutely. Right. The so Vivian comes out and she, you know, partied mm -hmm. and whatever. That was a sweet moment. It's real. Very yeah. real. We like to see real vulnerability. Our... Well, especially someone who's been doing so well in the competition to see her be vulnerable about something other than being in the bottom was really. You gotta have a low point in your life. Yeah. All these. What's your sob story? My sob story. You get on Drag Race. What's your What's your Hey, so has anyone had a trauma? One time, I asked for something and they said no. I do have a hard time hearing the word no, though. Yeah, you never went back to that Walgreens. Nope. I don't know why they wouldn't give you that. You just for free? Had, you had full-blown syphilis. <laughs> I begged. Ugh. I begged and I plead. I did not borrow. And you were all you were asking for was vitamin water. It wouldn't have helped. I don't know why you wanted it so badly. It doesn't help? No. Anything Kelly Clarkson endorses, it doesn't help syphilis. Oh, <gasps> come on. She's never had Why syphilis. Why does she write the song a moment like this then? Let's go to the runway. Okay. So we have uh, RuPaul. This look actually, I don't know if you noticed, it was pants. Really? Yeah, those That's are cool. pants. Those are pants, and then she had like a flowy With a bunch cape. of ostrich feathers. Yeah. Love it. I love it. I feel like we're getting a lot of this hair from RuPaul. Yeah. But she looks stunning. Yeah. She looks stunning. Uh, her makeup looks great. It just looks right. The runway is um, wet. What is it? Rain? It's, Stuck in the rain? Go, to, go yeah, outside? Yeah, it's you, a rain. Raining. It's raining. Um, all right. Davina kicked off with her yellow raincoat, the yes. fisherman, which she said was on purpose. Yeah. Made you think of Morton Salt a little bit, right? Absolutely. Right? Yes. So then she turned it into a dress and put a corset over it. It was cute. What? You getting chopped. You do something like that, you getting chopped. Rue even said, and she, I think she was trying to compliment her, but it sounded like a read. She was like, yeah, so she took the yellow and then she put a corset over it. I it thought was it was very a Divina. read too, and it was yeah. very Davina. Show a hole. Okay. She looked great. Let me reflect on this. I love... It was nice. Yeah, but I agree with okay. Graham. Um, although I admit I wouldn't have noticed it had he not said it. Her silver panty. Yes. It didn't match everything else, and it was kind of clear that it throw, was an afterthought. Throw on a pussy stone. But God, she looks stunning. Yeah, she does. And She's her makeup. Beautiful. Her makeup. And I love that pulled back hair. I can't pull that off, but man. Yeah, you can. Oh no, no, I have a very long face. I'm Sarah Jessica Parker, but like three years younger we'll than just her. Just make it a little longer. Sixty. But she looked great. Mm -hmm. Bag of chips is not stunning in this one. Bag of chips. She's doing well in this competition because she's an entertainer. Sure. And she's a wonderful entertainer. Let's say that. She p keeps people entertained. Right. This Bye. look is insane 
and not in like a brilliant kind of way. As much as as UK people will be upset that we are reading her so hard for this, if this was on US Drag Race and you were watching this on US Drag Race, this would never fly. Ooh. Ever. Ooh. Right? This is one of the worst things I have ever seen on a Drag Race stage. From the bob right out of the bag to the sequin, that big uh, palette sequin thing that every drag queen has that she probably got on Fashion Nova. It's a mess. That umbrella with the duck. I'm trying to be functional here. And then, what and would then, that do? And then Rue's like, well, but in her fashion world it made sense. You would not make that Bitch. excuse for anyone else. I'm sorry. In her fashion world it would make sense. I have to move on. The Vivian, she was like a storm. Mm -hmm. Stoning. It was really cute. Yeah, I liked it. I loved, I loved the dress. Yeah. It was so high fashion. Mm -hmm. The hat was fun. The gloves with an, I mean. The, 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 the raindrop. She came swinging. And, yes. Ugh. Stoning. Blue hydrangea. Oh, it looked really great. I thought she looked adorable. Her iridescent. Here's the deal. We're down to the top five. So everyone's going to look great unless you're bag chips. Mm. So let's go to their commercials. So first up, we had Davina's. She had DDC, because that's her initials, mm -hmm. DDC. Get Gotta it. make it about her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It I'm about DLC. Her. Downloadable content. And I'm AC. Air conditioning. Air conditioning. Keep you, it cool. Well, you are a global warming denier, so that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And the earth is flat mm -hmm. while we're at it. Mm -hmm. It was cute. She, yeah. She had the whole sea thing. She did the she fast did the talking thing. at the end. Yeah, she, she did the, the commercial thing. tropes. I didn't think it was hilarious, Fun. but it was cute. It, it was, was cute. It was cute. I love seeing, you know, sea life suffer. Cheryl Hole's Dancing Diva Drink. The Dancing Diva Texas. The Go Go Juice. This is an Alyssa Edwards product. Some might say. Oh. She did the pointing. Oh, she did. That was the a best, bit to revisit. The best part was that. Fine. And then the last one, like her finger was shaky and she couldn't quite find she the was, word. She was, yeah. Oh, that was fucking yeah, great. I know that was by is. accident, but it was great. Then we go to Baga's Fever Dream. Baga's Chappy Tea Water. She's eating corn dogs and fries. The idea of water that tastes like fish is hilarious. Yes. Even though Rue was the one that came up with that, it was funny. But just like the pouring the water on her, the sausages, it was, that was all But you know what? She poured water on the Brit crew. Wasn't too mad about that because no. she had the cute one. I like, I like a wet wiener. Then we had the Vivian dripping. Dripping. Her whole thing was that uh, old old pussies are dry. Something like that. I like that she threw a nice. baby. Okay. What? Her accent, I have a hard time sometimes. When she talks uh, quickly, but. She looked great. She looked great, and it, it was cute. It was funny. Yes. It was funny. Then we had Blue <sighs> Hydration. Hilarious name. Yes. It was a cute, cute little commercial. I don't think it stood out or anything. It's not good. Oh, I did not think it was good. It, it was not good. Okay. But I like that she mentioned that Northern Ireland hates gay people. When I want to buy water, I'm like, hang on. I want to do it for a cause. What does your government think? Okay, I'll buy it. I'll okay, buy it. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. Buy it. I'll buy it. The winner. Uh -huh. The Vivian. The Vivian. Well deserved. Who will eventually will win? I hope so. Yes. She or Davina, I'd be very happy with. It's the winner's attitude. Those are the ones that always end up winning. Yeah. The bottom two are Cheryl and Blue. Mm -hmm. I knew the minute it started, yes. Cheryl was going. Or Cheryl was staying. Because yeah. she's performing a Cheryl song in front of Cheryl. Right. This is her moment. Before the lip sync, I thought it was very funny that Baggett went in for a hug with Vivian and their hats were too big. That was hilarious. That was very funny. The lip sync. I hope her back is okay and her head. I hope that concussion didn't hurt. Oh, much. she threw her head on the ground. She limped. Her legs flew back yes. up. That was rough. It was scary. Blue was very manic. Hers was like point, 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 act out, baby. Do but this, do this, work. move, 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 tear apart my wig. Whereas Cheryl, she had a confidence about her. Yes. She was sexy with her movement and didn't feel the need to fill the space every time. Mm -hmm. I think that's why she won. So it's she won. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye, Blue. Goodbye, Blue, gave, Blue. Blue gave her a little hug in the middle of the pool. That was so, sweet. I was like, oh, Although there was a moment of panic know. on Cheryl's face when that happened. She was like, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Which like, I get. If you perform, because you know she's probably performed that song before and she's yes. like in her head and then suddenly someone's grabbing you and she's like, oh God. I was hoping Blue was going to meme me, I'm first her and just lift her above Pick her, her head. Up. Yeah. 
That'd be great. Um, but blue's gone and blue will be fine. Blue she will is be. stunning and gorgeous. A and beam young. of light and positivity. She's so young. Yes. Her skin will bounce back. Right. How old is she? 23. Ooh. And me. Ooh. That's how they find serial killers. So I'm never giving my DNA because if any of my relatives have killed somebody, oh. I don't want to know. Oops, I spat in a tube. Despite the fact that the water bottle thing was so stupid, mm. it was a great episode. Oh, you enjoyed it? I did! Yes. I love seeing their comedic chops. Yes. All right, so of course, before we go, you've heard her wheezing, as always, back, demoted. Do taken from co-host. Give me that spot back. Yeah, I, we had to give it back to you, uh, legally speaking. Please welcome intern, Alexis P. Bevel. Hi. I'm Alexis P. Bevels. The P today stands for pieces, as in cod pieces. Now, I want to address something that neither have you mentioned, nobody's mentioned, as far as I know, is those boys on the BBC in the mini challenge during the BBC contest, mm -hmm. they were absolutely padded. They were wearing pieces, mm -hmm. stuffed. Pieces, uh, I, I, pieces, pieces, pieces of me. I saw somewhere that male models, in order to not have VPL, they'll put a slice of bread in their in their underwear. I'll eat it. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm about to say, go put her. Make up. me a sandwich. Make me a sandwich. <laughs> Talk about a yeast break, infection. And break the meat too. <gasps> Alexis, yes, that was queen. good. Thanks. I'm sorry we ruined it. Uh, no, listen. So, uh, so I saw that somewhere. In addition to bread, I think they were all wearing cod pieces because I think the BBC is like, we can't have VPL. We can't have anything resembling VPL. Someone said, Katie is who's Katie? Katya. They had the video with Davina DeCampo, DDC. Katya said, um, Rue is your assistant. Michelle's an intern. I relate to that, being the intern for this hit show. Well, because you had your breast implants removed too. Absolutely. Except my breast implants were chicken tenders. And yeah, I had them removed them. from my mouth. <laughs> I was gonna say my favorite winner would uh, of the originals is probably Jinx as well. I like an underdog story. Yeah. And knowing what I know now, going back and looking at it, bitch is a brilliant actress. Yeah, she really is. She's a brilliant actress. Yeah. So that's Intern Minute. Thank you so much for indulging me. Bye! Make sure to leap before you do it too. You get a concussion on the way down. All right. Oh, the other thing that I'm sorry, before we what? go, that I left out of the episode was when Rue said the most disgusting thing she's ever said. What was it? Whose water do I want to swallow? Oh, Remember yes. on the runway? She, Rue. Girl, she's, she was horny this whole episode. Rue went blue. I she was, was horny not this whole okay with that. Because Rue. I just kept thinking of Jasmine. You know, Jasmine says, like, is your water clean? Is your water clean? And then Did Rue's like, did? whose water do I want to swallow? It was too much. Is Rue much? It was Rue much. It's, and it's too late to. It was Rue much. Rue too apologize. Obviously, we want to thank everyone on our Patreon. Thank you so fucking much. Thank you so Truly, much. Truly, it's changing the game for us, which is exciting. Also, we asked for wine money because we were at zero. Y'all came through in a big way. We so. lit, a. Uh, 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 Thank uh. you for enabling. So let's just show them now. Geeky, 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 Wow. Well, not that many people gay. Da, 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 da. Tequila. Tequila. Is there anything else we need to say? Anything any um, other people we need to thank? Um, no. No. Um, <laughs> so, of, oh, course. of course. Thank you, Sidetrack, for sponsoring this video. I'm, uh, let me tell you. What? Having you as a co host at Sidetrack, it's a dream. Is it? Yeah. I think we're getting our footing, and I love it. I think today was a lot of fun. Okay. All right. We'll see you um, <laughs> soon, I guess. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. This is Donnie. Bye, guys. This is Brian. Bye, guys. This is Brian.